Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 is just a week away, or at least we get to take a look at it and usually we'll have the developer beta available and that's on June 4th. The keynote will be streamed live at 1 PM Eastern time, depending on where you live. Obviously that time is going to be different, but we'll see iOS 12 and hopefully some new hardware products as well. And iOS 12, I do expect some changes. Apple's been really clamping down on secrecy lately, and we haven't heard a whole lot come out, but we do know a few things. But before we talk about that, first a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Filmora. It's a simple and free to use editing app that you can try out on Windows or Mac. And you'll see I have a recent video on here. You can add lower thirds and shadows or different effects. You've got all sorts of things such as split screens or different titles and transitions all built in and you can try them all out for free. And when you're done, click export and you've got a couple different options, free lifetime or an annual plan. So try it out for free with the link in the description below. So with iOS 12, I would expect a couple things. One thing they, that we know for sure is they're going to focus on stability between iOS and hopefully Mac OS and whatever we see there. Now with iOS 12, a lot of us have suspected that there will be somewhat of a redesigned interface. What that means exactly, I'm not sure, but last year they redesigned the app store and we know that that looks hit retry here, but we know that this is a much better design, or at least I think it is. And we haven't seen that carry over to different applications, such as the iTunes store, for example, uh, we see, we've seen some updates, but not a hundred percent to what that is. Maybe we'll see a redesigned weather and, and mail app and music has a pretty recent redesign, but we may see apps in general redesigned. Notifications should be another thing they redesign because it's it's pretty poor on iOS and hopefully they redesign the notifications, maybe group them by application or just make them better overall. And I would just love to see them do something with that. It seems like every year with the different iOSs, they've been changing the control center as well. So we may see something changed here, either more features or a different design. They've changed this year over year, seemingly every year, the past couple or three years, and we should see something different as far as that goes. Now, other than that, we're not really sure because Apple's been pretty secret about this. They've really clamped down on it, and we haven't heard a whole lot when it comes to that. But when it comes to hardware, there is some rumors. One of the rumors is a redesigned front type display like the iPhone 10 has, but on the SE 2. So maybe a new SE, this hasn't been revamped in some time. And for those that like smaller phones, we may see a new design on the front with the SE 2. We're not sure at this point, but it, there are some hints and rumors and leaks coming out of China that seemingly point to that. The other thing that a lot of people have pointed to, let me move these over here is a redesigned MacBook Pro, or at least some spec bumps. There's now a six core available, and whether or not they put that in is hard to say, but a lot of people have been having issues with the keyboards. I personally have it, and I don't mind typing on it. This is a 2016 MacBook. I haven't had any issues uh, that have stuck with the keyboard other than a stuck spacebar. It was pretty difficult to push at one point. I pushed it a little bit harder. It fixed itself and I haven't had any issues, but for those that have, hopefully they'll have a recall program, but maybe they'll redo the keyboard. It's super thin and a lot of people like more tactile feedback than what this one offers. So hopefully we see an update on that. But WWDC is one of my favorite events of the year that in the fall or September event where they show new iPhones and hopefully we'll see some pretty major changes and a commitment by Apple to some of the pro devices as well. I'd also love to see the Mac pro, although it's hard to say if we're going to see that, but that's the right place to show that off. And they have said that it's coming out in 2019. So we may see a preview like they've done before, but let me know your thoughts about WWDC 2018 and all the different updates coming up and what you think about them. And if you think iOS 12 will get a major redesign or it will just be stability, and if an SE2 will come out, an updated MacBook, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.